Hello, welcome to my English garden. My name is Jane Savage and today I will read Oh No Little Dragon by Jim Aberbeck. Little Dragon had a spark in his heart so he could huff and puff and push. Oh, little dragon, Mama said, I truly love your flame, but look how sooty you are. Time for a bath. See, he's got black on it. That's soot in the fire. Oh, no. I hate taking baths, little dragon said. You can play with your new wooden boat, Mama said. Okay, grumbled little dragon. <clears throat> Arr, little dragon growled, you are toast. And he huffed and he puffed and push, push. Oh no, the little dragon fire department to the rescue. Cannonball! And he jumps in the water to put out the fire. Oh no, the water doused the little dragon's spark. He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. Not a flicker of flame would come out. The little dragon thumped his heart. He rumped his tummy to restart the spark, but Oh no, that only gave him a cherry belly. So Little Dragon bundled into every stitch of winter clothing from his closet, but oh no, that only made him all sweaty. Little Dragon dashed to the kitchen and he ate three of the hottest chili peppers from the bowl. But, oh no, that didn't restart the spark in his heart. It only made his eyes water. They wouldn't stop, plink, plunk, plop. Why are you crying, Little Dragon, Mama asked. Because, Little Dragon said, if I don't have my flame, you won't love me anymore. Oh no, Little Dragon, Mama said, I could never stop loving you. Because you're the spark in my heart. And then she kissed him on his freshly scrubbed snout, and Little Dragon felt warm inside. Warm inside, could it be? Oh yes, Little Dragon huffed and puffed and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh no, sooty again. Whoosh, and now he's got on his flippers and his goggles and his snorkel because he knows he has to have another bath. The end. Please come again to my English garden. Thank you.